Welcome to this Goddess Isis transmission, Reclaiming Divinity and Vulnerability. And in this transmission, we call upon Isis as Egyptian Mother Goddess. to help clear our past timeline, clearing lower energies, calling back fragmented soul parts. This transmission is uh, designed specifically to heal trauma to our most vulnerable times, young adult, adolescent, child, and of course, the time spent in the womb of our physical mother. So getting comfortable, getting comfortable. Open body, open mind. And breathing light into the body. Breathing light from the universe around you, 360 degrees, as if you're standing in a web of light. Breathing light in from the stars. Breathing light in from the earth. Breathing light in from the elements around you, nature. The green earth, the blue earth. And on the out breath, surrendering any energy in your energy field that does not serve you any longer, back to the sun, back to the sun to be transformed. Ah, breathing more light into your body of bone and blood so that the bones begin to hold more light. And on the out breath, surrendering any energy in the bones of your body that no longer serve your journey, that perhaps block you radiating your true light. The bones, any energy from the ancestral line, release on the out breath. Releasing any energy from your mother that can be released now. Releasing any energy from your father that can be released now. And breathing more light into the body of bone and blood. Breathing light into the organs of the body. On the out breath, giving permission for any energy in your body, in the organs, that no longer serves your journey to release any energy that no longer belongs to you. Foreign energy, lower astral energy, release on the out breath. Give permission for it to detach from your energy field. And I call to your higher self. To begin to bring in more of your soul light into the body as you release this energy. Filling your body with light. So 
so that you become a sphere of light. And every cell in the body begins to light up. So you become a mini sun of light. And I call to the angel of the east, Raphael, healer magician. This angel holds the emerald green ray to come be with us. And the symbol of this angel is the caduceus, a crystal rod entwined by golden snakes and golden wings at the tip, caduceus of crystal and gold. And as you visualize that symbol, we call the angel to us. And imagine allowing this angel, the energy of this angel that holds an emerald green fire to come closer to your energy field, emerald green fire as you focus on the caduceus and feel the embrace of this emerald green fire in your energy field. Facing east in your mind's eye, facing the caduceus, feeling the embrace of this emerald green fire in your energy field. Cleansing and clearing, what can be cleansed and cleared right now. And as this is occurring in your energy field, I call to the Archangel of the South of Fire, Michael. Come be with us. Michael, the guardian protector angel, holder of the electric blue fire. And the symbol of this angel is a sword uh, held in fire. And as you focus on the sword, you call the angel to you and feel the embrace of electric blue fire in your energy field. And this is a very protective cleansing energy, sealing your energy field in light, protecting it against the lower astral energies. It's welcome. And as this is going on in your energy field, the energy of Raphael, the energy of Michael. I call to the West, Archangel of Water, of Dreams, the Messenger Angel, Gabriel, of the Diamond White Fire. And the symbol of this angel is the Silver Chalice. As you focus on the chalice, feel the embrace of this diamond white fire, this ascension fire in your energy field. Oh, clearing and cleansing any fear in your body, fear that may be not yours. Clearing fear in the body, helping you shift your vibration up the scale from fear to love from separation to unity consciousness. Welcome. And as this is happening in your energy field, I call to the north, to Uriel, Archangel of Earth,
and this angel holds the ruby red ray. And Uriel is the great angel of awakening. His symbol is a five-pointed star, pentacle, within a circle of light. As you focus on this symbol, this star, you call the energy of Uriel to you, the awakener. Feel the embrace of this ruby red fire awakening you. Waking you up from the sleep of the 3D world. Opening you to a new timeline, 4D to 5D timeline. Ruby Red Fire, the Awakener. And feel the pull and the adjustment of these four angels around you, opening your energy field. Opening your energy field, opening the inner channel. Opening the inner channel, connecting you to heaven and earth. And above you, Metatron, with the Christ grid, call Metatron. To begin to descend the grid into the room above you. And the symbol of Metatron is an infinity symbol on its side, like a number eight on its side. And as you focus on this symbol, you call this grid to you. Golden white fire down towards the top of your head that opens. And allowing golden white fire to pour into you and around you. A grid of light connecting you to the central sun through the stargate of our sun and feel your whole energy field shift up into light. Shift up into light. Oh. As it pours through the body, down through the head, the chest, to the heart that opens, and this energy radiates out through every layer of your energy field connecting you to the light of the central sun, the light of the Christ grid. And feeling the gentle pulse of that light ripple through your energy fields now. Golden white fire from the central sun, calling you to a higher life calling you to a higher timeline. And as you feel this shift, and one of the symbols of Sandalphon is the rose, the rose of the earth, the rose representing the Garden of Eden that is returning to the earth, the rose. Visualize this rose, call up silver white fire from the earth, crystalline grid of the earth. Up into the room around your feet and breathing silver white fire up into the body up through the legs into the base of spine that opens and silver white fire flooding through the body into the heart up the channel to the heart that opens anchoring this fire in the heart that in the heart of your body connecting your heart to the heart of the earth and feeling ripples now of silver white fire through the crystalline grid up into your energy field and out
absorbing light from the earth. Absorbing light from the earth. The silver white fire growing in intensity, growing in intensity, flooding your whole energy field with silver white fire. Every cell of your body becoming a mini sun so that you become like a great sun on the earth plane of silver white fire, intensifying now. And asking the angels just to adjust your energy field, adjust your energy field, opening the inner channel, opening the torus of energy that is your energy field, so energy can spiral in through the base, up the spine and out through the top of the head and around again in this great torus shape um, energy field. And as you expand your energy field, I call your higher self to be with you. I call your higher self and guides to be with you. And many of you have a strong connection with the goddess Isis, the great archetype of feminine energy, mother energy, the great healer, great magician, Isis. Many of you have had lifetimes in Egypt and lifetimes in Atlantis. But the goddess Isis is a universal archetype that can be felt through many cultures. There are many mother goddesses in many cultures across the earth plane. call to the goddess Isis to begin to descend now from the central sun down through the Christ grid down into the room embracing you with her light Goddess Isis is often seen as a great female figure with wings. Wrapping around your energy field now. Feel the embrace of Isis slowly and steadily. Around your energy field. It's a very protective energy, a very nurturing energy, a very safe energy, a very powerful energy. Hear now the hymn to Isis, hymn to Isis. I call upon you, Isis, most graceful, most high. Hear your servant, grant your blessings, most full, most gentle. You whose crescent moon and stars encompass the world. Wave your arms, strew the glittering dust of many worlds like seeds to be planted in the vast blackness of space. Step gently across the bridge of many colours and rest in the mountains of flowers. I wish for your offering that they may shine, swell the fruit of the land, make mother with child, 
cause flying birds to nest, bees to swarm, make the endless procession of life grow full and bountiful, bring water to the well, rain to the clouds, cause your vows to fall upon the barren earth, making the earth holy, bring warmth, bring richness into the hearts of men and women, O oh, essence of joy without end, radiant, beautiful, like the sun rising on a clear morning, scattering the clouds and mists of night into glittering drops. Stand shining from that cloud which I see above me. Dance on the blossom growing by the fence. Bless the kettle in which I cook my food. Shine your light that I may read by it the wonders of heaven and earth. Call forth fruits in great abundance mangoes, plums, sweet cherries, milk, wine, honey, oil, that men and women may grow with life and health, like shining bubbles around a waterfall, rising and falling. Smile upon us, that we may see you, O Mother. Set foot upon a flower, wife and lover of sunlight. Spread your innocent radiance through the skies, untouched one, that the earth may resound with your praises. The Hymn of Isis High Goddess of Ancient Egypt. Feel her energy wrapping around you. And the goddess Isis, this great archetypal mother goddess, is creating in your energy field a great temple of light. A temple of light. So that your energy field expands into a great hall of light. Step into this hall now and see the hall around you. This hall may appear as a great Egyptian temple. It may appear as an Atlantean temple. And gaze about the temple and notice the adornments furnishings, the height of the walls, the ceiling, the floor beneath your feet. in the center of this temple is a great throne of light, a great throne of light. And the throne is a great symbol of Isis, a symbol of Isis for the pharaohs sitting upon the throne were authorized by Isis in their power and authority. Go sit now upon the throne of light. Go sit now upon the great throne of light in the center of the hall, the center of the temple. Sitting on the throne, resting on the throne and feeling the embrace of the goddess now. Allowing the goddess to wrap you with light. Allow 
the goddess to wrap you with love. Allowing Isis to wrap you in power, in power. And feel now the transmission of Isis. On this throne of light, feel now the transmission of Isis. And as you feel this transmission, notice before the throne is a table, a table before the throne. See it appear now. Upon this table, notice two golden scepters, each topped with a large clear quartz crystal. As you look at these scepters, two scepters, golden, topped with large clear quartz crystals, notice the crystal, how clear the crystals are, how pure. Notice also they're edged in electric blue fire, electric blue fire. Go now, pick up one of these scepters, one of these scepters. And hold it up in front of your energy field, in front of your heart, so the crystal is in a line with your heart. And I ask your higher self, Isis, and the angels of light around you to begin to expand and open your energy field. Expanding and opening your energy field. Expanding and opening the chakra system. The mini chakras, the lines of light in your body. Expanding and expanding. Give permission for this to happen. And as you hold the crystal, you begin to notice that it has a power, a magnetic power, a magnetic force of light. And it begins to pull upon your energy field, pulling upon your energy field, pulling out any foreign energies in your energy field that shouldn't be there, pulling out any energy that doesn't belong to you, and pulling out any implants of energies any energies that's been put in your energy field that should be taken out now with your permission pulling out anything in the head crown chakra blocking your connection to source third eye blocking your ability to see light to see the way ahead throat chakra blocking your ability to speak your truth, to walk your path of truth. Heart chakra, pulling out any energy, blocking you from knowing and feeling the truth, from feeling the love energy in the universe around you. Solar plexus, pulling out anybody else's power, any conflict in the solar plexus, anyone opposing you, pulling out their energy, Anyone invading your energy, pulling it out. Sacral center. Any sexual energy in your body, in your energy field, that does not belong there, pull it out into the crystal. Base chakra. Any dependency or codependency connections. Any energy that shouldn't be there, pulling it out. 
into the crystal, sucking out into the crystal anything in your etheric body, anything in your emotional body, other people's emotions in your energy field, pulling it out with a tremendous magnetic force, pulling out light from your energy field that's not yours, pulling it into the crystal on the top of the scepter, pulling energy out from the mental body, your mind, anybody else's thoughts, opinions, projections, pulling it out, doesn't belong to you, take it out, pulling out any energy from your spiritual layers of your energy field into the crystal, pulling it out, and I ask your higher self and Isis to help you return more of your own true soul's light into your body, into your energy fields, realigning all the chakras, realigning the inner channel, asking the angels around you now to align your chakra system and passing the crystal up to Isis up to your higher self and asking that this energy be sent back wherever it needs to go in the universe to send it back away from your energy field away from your energy field ah oh. and asking Isis and Michael to seal your energy field in light, sealing your energy field in light. And Isis is gonna open a timeline, a timeline from this moment into your past, a timeline in the temple, a portal opens, a portal opens in the temple. And this timeline leads back to your young adult years the vulnerability of that time of entering work or of entering university young adult years and beyond into your adolescence your adolescence the vulnerability of sexuality and then back into your childhood years the vulnerability of naivety vulnerability of naivety and then back into the womb the vulnerability of dependence of dependence opening the timeline all the way back to the womb As you arise from the throne of light, Isis's energy will follow you and guide you. And picking up the other scepter, the golden scepter, picking it up, begin to enter that portal of light with Isis around you, with your higher self, with the angelic forces around you. And this portal leads the timeline back to your young adult years, young adult years time of university or beginnings of work and taking you back in this timeline to a time where you felt vulnerable, hurt, wounded, where you lost some of your soul light. Just be taken back to that time now. holding up the scepter in front of you begin to call back your soul light that you may have lost at this time this time of vulnerability calling back your soul light into the crystal that you hold before you and seeing light fly from 360 degrees into the crystal the young adult years calling back your light and perhaps there's another time in your young adult years where you lost your light 
We lose it through trauma. We lose it through heartbreak. We lose it through loss. Loss of a loved one. Well, any time your light has gone with somebody else, perhaps a family member who perhaps passed over, or a lover, call back that light. That light does not serve them, and you need it back now. Calling it back into the crystal. just scanning your young adult years for any time that you may have lost light go to that time hold up the crystal and call back any light you lost on the timeline call it back and if the crystal seems filled pass the crystal up to Isis to surrender it up to your higher self and ask that this energy be cleared, cleansed and transformed and returned to your own energy field at the right time and the right pace. And see another scepter appearing in your hand. Golden scepter, topped with a large quartz crystal edged in electric blue fire. Continue down the timeline back to the adolescent years. The adolescent years remembering your adolescent years it can be a time of trauma of loss of confusion in any way you lost your light because of this emerging energy of sexuality call it back now into the crystal holding it up aloft and seeing light fly back to you from 360 degrees into the crystal And explore your timeline, any moments on the timeline in the adolescent years you felt trauma or loss, trauma or loss. Go to that place now and call back your light into the crystal. the crystal seems filled, pass it up to Isis, passes it to your higher self, asking this light be healed, cleansed, transformed and returned to you at the right time and the right pace. Moving down the timeline to the child years, the inner child, the young child years. Any time in this timeline where you felt trauma or loss, go to that time now, holding a new crystal up, calling back your light into the crystal. And seeing light coming back from 360 degrees calling back your light you need this light the light of the child the light of innocence of play of creativity call it back
call it back. If you need another septum crystal, surrender this one, ask it to be he to be healed, cleansed, and transformed and returned to you at the right time, right place, and get a new scepter, a new crystal. Continue the work until all the light is called back. surrendering that crystal to be healed, cleansed and transformed and the light to be returned to you. Enter now the time where you are in the womb of your mother and finding a new golden scepter in your hand and seeing the mother before you, your physical mother before you. Just notice the time of birth. If at the time of birth, the trauma of birth, you lost any of your light, call it back into the crystal now. The trauma of birth, calling it back into the crystal, your own light, and seeing your light fly into the crystal from 360 degrees. calling it back. You need this light, you need this energy, you need this power in your life now. And when all the light's back, surrendering the crystal to Isis, to your higher self, to be healed, cleansed, transformed and returned to you at the right time at the right pace. and standing on your timeline from birth all the way back to present moment. Let's ask the angels and Isis just to open and expand that timeline, clearing out any energies on the timeline that shouldn't be there. Expanding it out with light, light of the earth, light of the sun, light from the angels around, from Metatron, from Sandalphon, holding the space, holding the timeline open, clearing and cleansing. And as you look along the timeline, if anywhere on the timeline looks a bit dark, these are periods again of uh, pain, of difficulty, of challenge, we ask Isis and the angels to put light in those places, bridging the trauma. So one continuous stream of light from womb, birth, all the way to the present moment. Just taking your time now, working with the angels, making sure any dark patches on this timeline is cleared and cleansed so the whole path is open, strong, clear, bright, stable, solid. Just making any final adjustments now to the timeline. And then coming back along the timeline, back to the Temple of Light, back to the Temple of Light, closing the portal behind you. I ask the portal door be sealed and all sub dimensions sealed. Coming back into your temple sitting once again in the throne of light and receiving now a gift of love from Isis who once again wraps her wings around you radiating light, radiating love radiating power through your energy field
open to this transmission once again of light, of power, of love. And in this transmission, receive a gift, a symbol of light from Isis. A symbol of light, a symbol of love, a symbol of power for your journey on the earth plane. Here in the temple of light, on the throne of light, receive a gift now from Isis. Receiving this gift, this symbol, by sitting on the throne of light. And for some of you, this symbol opens up the timeline through Egypt to Atlantis. gifts of that timeline, the skills, the experience, the initiations of that timeline. Receive now the gift of Isis. May the Goddess bless you. May the Goddess fill you with light. May the Goddess heal your vulnerability, return to you your divinity, returning to you your divinity. The fullness of light as you walk on the earth plane. Allowing the Goddess to uh, put more light in your energy field. And you can invite the goddess to walk with you on the earth plane if you so wish. To be with you as a protector of your energy field, a guardian of your space, your psychic space. And just thanking the goddess now. begins to unwrap the wings around you. Releasing you from your, her light, not totally, but the intensity of it, releasing you. As you stand up from the throne of light, in this temple of light, and breathe and as you breathe you notice the walls of the temple shimmer and shake and dissolve into light
as you breathe in and breathe out, remember you have a body of bone and blood, bringing back the journey to this body. I ask all your energy fields to realign with the energy field of the body, the physical body, sealing the light that's returned into your body. And much light will continue to be returned to you by your higher self in the days and perhaps weeks ahead as this light is cleared, cleansed and transformed. Coming back to your energy field and just closing it as appropriately and thanking the angels around you thanking Uriel thanking Uriel and just let his energy just separate from your energy field Uriel of the North that five pointed star in the circle of light just separate from you now thanking Gabriel in the West seeing that silver chalice just receding into the distance thanking Gabriel thanking Michael Michael of the South seeing that flaming sword recede into the distance and thanking Raphael of the East seeing the caduceus of crystal and gold fading back into the East and thanking Sandalphon symbol of the rose dissolving back into the crystal grid thanking Metatron seeing that infinity sign separating from you going back to the Sun through the stargate of the Sun back to the central Sun thanking your higher self your guides and of course th thanking Isis goddess Isis may her energy continue to bless you on the earth plane May her light continue to illuminate your way on the earth plane. May her power strengthen you on the earth plane. With love and blessings. With love and blessings.